मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एज वी नो वी कैन नॉट कंपेयर और ड्रॉ सम मीनिंगफुल कंक्लूजन विद द रॉस कोर्स ऑफ अचीवमेंट टेस्ट और एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट और एटीट्यूड टेस्ट और इंटरेस्ट इन्वेंट्री फॉर दिस पर्पज वी नीड टू हैव सम स्टैंडर्ड स्कोर सो दैट वी कैन ड्रॉ सम मीनिंगफुल कंक्लूजन आई एम संजीव कुमार झा एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट अ स्टैंडर्ड स्कोर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज जेड स्कोर तो आओ सीखें हाउ टू कैलकुलेट जेड स्कोर विद द हेल्प ऑफ एस पी एस एस नाउ वट इज जेड स्कोर अ जेड स्कोर इज अ नुमेरिकल मेजरमेंट दैट डिस्क्राइब्स अ वैल्यूज रिलेशनशिप टू मीन ऑफ अ ग्रुप और अ वैल्यूज दैट इज जेड स्कोर इज अ मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन फ्रॉम द मीन हाउ अब इट इज फ्रॉम द मीन एंड हाउ बिलो इट इट इज फ्रॉम द मीन so formula is z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma x is average of the data mu is that particular score divided by standard deviation now characteristics of a z look at this npc in the middle we have zero so average of z score is zero and standard deviation is 1 So zero plus one standard deviation one zero minus one standard deviation minus one. So you can see between minus one to one, sixty eight percent of data lies. Again, zero plus two standard deviation zero minus two standard deviation. So again you can notice between minus two standard deviation to two standard deviation, ninety five percent of data of the distribution lies. Similarly. Minus three standard deviation to plus three standard deviation, you will notice ninety nine point seven percent of the data lies. So in this way, we convert our raw score into Z score, so that we can have these meaningful information from the data. Learning objective of this video: you will be able to find Z score or of a data with the help of SPSS. Now, welcome to SPSS interface. Z score with the help of SPSS from this raw score. You can notice I have a test score, total test score, and dimension-wise test score. I will calculate standard score for each of this. Means total as well as dimension-wise. Okay. For this purpose, I have to click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistic, and Descriptive. That is Analyze, Descriptive Statistic. descriptives this will be the flow of clicks it is very easy click analyze descriptive statistic descriptives you have to do nothing just click on save standardize value as variables look at this save standardize values as variables okay now select the variables for which you want to calculate standard score or z score like this each dimension send here now okay nothing else you have to do now you can see total sample size is 400 minimum score is 111 maximum score is 196 for each dimension you can see the score and you can notice dimension wise and total Z score is already calculated. Here it is. Z score of total score, Z score of first dimension, Z score of second dimension, Z score of third dimension, Z score of fourth dimension, Z score of fifth dimension. Okay, you can notice this thing. Now, what is the importance of calculating z score you can make z score norms for your test okay in this way you can calculate z score which is one of the standard score of your test or data so that you can know the property of your data what is that mean 0 sd 1 so you can calculate z score norms for your self developed test so i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel thank you